Midwest. It is the Wave 97.9 WHAV talking about the band. Let's put the band back together again. And we'll bring in on percussion Tracy Fuller from the YMCA. Tracy, did you play the drums when you were in school? Uh, no, I didn't. Good morning, when I was not uh, musically inclined at all, though my my youngest son plays the drums. So, how are you? Good morning. Hey, good, good morning. Uh, what now? Now, uh, what was your reaction when you said, hey, hey, Mom, I want to have a drum set? Um, you know what? It's... Um, I think it's great. Um, I've never been. We actually went to go see a concert last night. Um, I think any sort of expression like that is fun. Um, the practicing happens a lot outside of the house, which is great. Um, but, uh, you know, I think any sort of uh, fun self-expression is, is healthy, and, and there could be other ways of self-expression that aren't healthy, so I'll take drumming. I'm okay <laughs> with that. All so. right. Well, you know, maybe he could uh, pack up the drums and perform at the upcoming community dinner that uh, you are going to be uh, having helping out with uh, with the mayor's office, right? Yes. Well, we are honored to host um, the mayor's community dinner. Um, and, you know, what this is focused on is mental health resources. And um, we will be this next Tuesday. It's on August 13th at 530, hosted at the YMCA. Um, we will also be having... Um, will be having um, mental health um, resources from across the city um, be able to come bring some of their brochures um, and the whole community is invited um, have some dinner after you know either a day of you know of work um, there'll be activities for kids so that way if you want to have conversations that don't involve your little ones you can do so um, we'll have our bouncy house um, and such, we'll have a couple of other activities set up um, because um, mental wellness is so important um, for both ourselves as adults, for our children, for teens and young adults. Um, I think it's one of the things that we hear often at the Y, um, and we want to make sure that we connect our the constituents of Haverhill um, and the resources together and make sure that um, for those that have questions and are looking for support um, can get them. And so um, this is part of um, this is the, the mayor's initiative. And so um, we're just happy to be a host for this. And, um, you know, we're hoping lots of people come and, and take part. And if they have questions, feel like they can get some answers and, and uh, you know, have a little dinner, too. Nothing so, wrong with that. So uh tickets are available where? No tickets. No tickets. Just come on down. Oh. So so it's again, um earlier this spring um the mayor had a community breakfast over at Somebody Cares. Um so really looking to identify pockets of um in neighborhoods of those that um may need some support. Um, so she had identified, you know, and asked if the Y was um, willing to host, um, you know, kind of in the Acre neighborhood. Um, we'd love to have people come and, again, after a busy day at camp, um, be able to come have some dinner. Um, and then kind of, um, we've asked a few mental health um, professionals come. Um, Haverhill Public Schools will be there. Beth Israel Leahy Health will be there. NFI will be there. Um, so a few others will be there as well. Um, and they'll be available to answer questions, um, and connect indivi with individuals, um, answer specific questions, have materials available. So um, we think it'll be a great night um, for the community. Oh, now, uh, earlier this year, you, you had an event where you were uh, serving up uh, uh, surf and turf. Uh, is, is that going to be on the uh, menu? <laughs> Only if you're paying one. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, we're working on securing a few donations. Um, so this is actually um, um, supported by uh, NUMSA and Scooby, who if I think everyone knows NUMSA, who's been, um, I think, our, our friend um, over at Somebody Cares, who works tirelessly to help support those in need, especially for those um, affected by food insecurity. Our friends over at Cedars is donating food. We're working on a few other donations. If anyone out there would like to donate um, and support um, dinner, that would be great. But um, we're working on securing a few donation 
funds to support um, dinner. So dinner will be provided because we, we don't want to create any barriers to anyone being able to come. So dinner and then activities for kids will be there. So that way, if a parent has a, con- has a question, they won't feel like there's an obstacle from being able to ask that question. I get you. Yeah, NUMS is uh, yeah. it's just fantastic. Hey, yes. you mentioned, uh, I heard the word camp, and uh, yeah. just a couple more weeks before uh, uh, kids wrap up camp, go back to school. Yeah, we, you know, camp is, we're in the the thick of it. Um, you know, le- yesterday we had some what we call liquid sunshine at camp. Um, camp has been um, pretty strong. It's been um, a pretty incredible summer. Um, you know, this summer we really focused on um, workforce development um, with our leadership academy and, and hiring um, some additional 15, 14, 15, and 16-year-olds. And, you know, it's funny. We just did a video interviewing them about what they learned about working, and it's it's pretty powerful for some of our, our young and, and middle teens to realize how they as a mentor have been mentored at the Y and then realizing that they're a mentor to younger individuals and younger children. So, um, you know, they talked about learning about patience and learning about teamwork, um, which are just such important skills no matter what job that you have. Um, so we, we're so proud to lean in on workforce development and, you know, learning to be a role model for children and learning the skills that are so important and the values of the why. Um, we just think it's a great opportunity. Um, and so being able to employ a good number of teens, um, teach many of them to be, to be lifeguards and, you know, it's just reading, um, we do, surveys of our camp families and was reading a quote this morning um, from a family that was sharing at uh, Camp Trickland Falls. Um, My daughter is so much fun at the Y. I believe this program has helped her confidence grow and she has formed some amazing bonds with her fellow campers and staff. Um, She loves swimming and of course the the ropes course and obstacle courses. Um, You know, these are the types of things, you know, helping a child's confidence grow, you know, that just warms my heart because that's just so important. Um, That's what camp does, you know, watching, being on a device, that doesn't necessarily help someone's confidence grow, but being a part of a quality camp experience does. So, yep, we have a a few more weeks of camp. We're going to finish strong, and um, that goes right into our, our fall programs, sports and aquatics, um, we have dance programs this year, um, some wellness programs, um, and then our, our, our largest program, um, we have our early education programs, and then our before and after school programs. And then uh, one of the things that you uh, are known for is uh, the Educator of the Year uh, program yeah. as well, too. So yeah. uh, is, it, uh, is it too early to uh, make nominations? It's never too early to make nominations. And I know when you and I have talked about teachers in our past that have been important that help um, influence us in the work that we do today, um, you know, I think of teachers and the important role that they influence and affect um, our young people and and children today. Um, You know, we see our counselors in that role in the summer. Um, You know, teachers play such a vital role in in not just educating our youth, but just being that that powerful voice of influence. Um, We'd love to start receiving some some nominations. Um, We're only picking one this year, which is different from the last few years. We had the last couple of years, we had kind of an an everyone wins um, platform. That's not going to be the case this year. So, um, you know, we really want some strong nominations. We've had a lot of nominations and they've been incredible. Um, But um, we will be accepting nominations um, through the middle of October um, and the event um, will be in November. Um, I should have put my flyer in front of me and I didn't. Um, I believe it's November 13th. It's going to be at Renaissance. Um, And we're also honoring um, Dr. John Maddox and Debbie Maddox um, as kind of some founding supporters of our Summer Literacy Academy. Um, It's great when we have stakeholders in the community that support the work that we do um, in our ties to education. And we're such... um, 
we're so fortunate to have great supporters that support the work that we do um, and our ties to education. So it's not too late, um, it's not too early to submit a nomination. Um, we'd love to have and celebrate our great educators in Haverhill. Um, it also celebrates the work that the Y um, focuses on in education. Um, part of our mission statement is that we educate and nurture children, so it's important to who we are and what we do. Um, and we'd love to have as many nominees as possible, and, and that way it will make our job even harder to narrow it down and, and celebrate and announce the winner that night. So um, hopefully we'll have lots of great nominees, and, and you know we'd love to start having some of them come in now. All right. Well, Tracy, I know you have places to go and things to do, and I'll let you go. Yeah. And uh, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much, Wynn. It's always a pleasure to speak to you, and I appreciate you allowing me to share some of the, the few things that we're doing over here at the YMCA. Uh, that's our job is to tell people what's going on, and we love doing that. All right, Tracy Fuller, Regional Executive Director, YMCA in Haverhill. Our guest this morning right here on The Wave, 97.9 WHAV. Wake up with Wynn Damon weekdays from 6 to 9 a.m. on 97.9 FM WHAV. Catch the wave. W.